Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Monday, September 10th. It's the 16th week after Pentecost, and week 3 in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 41 and 52, and John chapter 10, verse 19 to 30. Join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 66 by Isaac Watts. Sing all you nations to our God, sing with a joyful noise, with melody of sound record, God's honors and your joys. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, blessed are they that consider the poor, for you will deliver them in times of trouble. Alleluia, Psalms 41 and 52. And please recite them with me. Alleluia, blessed are they that consider the poor, for you will deliver them in times of trouble. You will preserve them and keep them alive, and they shall be blessed on the earth. And you will not deliver them to the will of their enemies. You will strengthen them on their sickbed and tend to them in their illness. Be merciful to me and heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When shall he die? When shall his name perish? And even if they come to see me, they speak empty words. Their hearts gather iniquity to themselves. And when they go out, they tell it. All that hate me whisper against me. They plot together to cause my harm. An evil disease, they say, clings fast to him. And now that he lies down, he shall rise no more. Even my own friend, in whom I trusted, which ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, my God, be merciful to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you will favor me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. You uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed are you, God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Alleluia, why do you boast of your evil, O mighty tyrant? The goodness of God endures continually. Your tongue plots evil, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. You love evil more than good, and would rather tell lies than speak the truth. You love all hurtful words, you lying tongue. God shall destroy you forever. God shall take you away and pluck you from your dwelling place and root you out of the land of the living. The righteous shall see and fear and shall laugh at you. This is the one that did not take God for refuge, but trusted in the abundance of riches and relied on wickedness. But I am like a green olive tree in the house of God. I trust in the mercy of God forever and ever. I will praise you forever because of what you have done. And I will wait on your name, for it is good before your saints. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed are they that consider the poor for you will deliver them in times of trouble. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 19. Again, the Jews were divided because of what Jesus said. Many of them were saying, He has a demon and is out of his mind. Why listen to him? And others were saying, These are not the words of one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? At that time, the festival of the dedication took place in Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was walking in the temple in the portico of Solomon. And so the Jews gathered around him and said, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I have told you, and you do not believe. The works that I do in my Father's name testifies to me. But you do not believe, 
because you do not belong to my sheep. My sheep hear my voice, I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. What my Father has given me is greater than all else, and no one can snatch it out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to sing. Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. We declare your marvelous work and your goodness before all. Save us from evil and grant us your blessings forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.